Welcome back guys, Smurfy back for round number four and we won the dice roll which is sweet. Um, this hand is pretty bad. So we have removal, protection, uh, three lands, so we can get like a mountain with the Aether, uh, the Aether Hub. Oh sorry, the Atune with Aether, but we have, all we have is two Ronas, so we need to draw another creature. Um, I just, yeah, I just don't think this is a keep. This hand is not great either, but I think we keep this just because uh, I don't really want to go to five, and we've got effectively two mana. Uh, we can get a turn two green belt, so we'll keep. We don't really want another green belt, I don't think. I think we just want lands. If this was an untapped land, it'd be significantly better for us, because we could go turn one a tune and then turn two play like a Voltaic Brawler. Um, I guess a uh, green belt isn't that much worse. It's, it's, it is bigger, but it's not as uh, mana efficient. And a Sanctum to start off with, sure. Oh, we drew a land, which is sweet. I think we just want a Brawler here, and the next time we can do both of these. I, I'm pretty sure we do want to just play the brawler here. The reasons not to is in case they have an X3 in their deck, which I just don't think is very likely. Oh, actually, Greenbelt would have played around Harness Lightning better. And eventually when our opponent passes the turn. Judging by what they've played so far, I'm going to assume this, this deck is... Uh, or our opponent's on Aetherworks as well. Uh, we're just going to go Green Source, Attune. And during Game Trail that was great, because it means we can play Game Trail. Um, play Green uh, Rampager and then with the land we can get a turn 4 Hydra. I think we want to... Probably just want to mount. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Other than the swamp, uh, we'll get a we'll get a forest. Obviously, we're gonna attack and we're gonna pump. I don't think our opponent would block anyway, but. I think we just want to cash in the damage when we can. And we just ship the turn back. It's strange, but I actually think 7 is like one of the least intimidating turn 2s they can have. Just because it doesn't mean they can like... It just doesn't speed up their combo, I don't think. Bristling Hydra, sure. So they just like team our energy. So we drew Eighth Hub, which was a great draw. Uh, we're gonna play the. I guess we play the Eighth Hub, right? Yeah. So we can choose to attack with the Elephant as well, um, and then the, if they want to block, they have to use their energy, which is kind of tempting because it just then looks like we have a removal spell. So I actually think we're gonna do that. I I think that it's very risky, but. I just don't think that they should block. Yeah, we're gonna attack with both and try and try and scare them into thinking that we have a harness lightning. Like if they just block and activate, then it will means they're just on less energy than for the Glorybringer to protect it. Wow, they're just gonna trade. Our two drop for their four drop? Sure, that's great for us. Get in three and uh, we'll just play the Hydra. Uh, 
and pass the turn. So yeah, now we've got like protection up for the Bristling Hydro. Next time we can play a Glory Bringer. So if they play anything that's like not a Bristling, wait, what? Would Weaver's Pass or not? So they are the combo. All right, I have no idea what their deck is then. It looks like they're just Team of Marvel with Bristling Hydra's main deck. I know some people bought them in, but having the main deck seems really odd. Yeah, we're just going to play Glorybringer here, I think. The question is, do we want to kill the Whirl of Virtuoso? And I think the answer is yes. It means we miss out on an attack, but they're going to just keep getting energy and making chump blockers, so I think we'd rather just get rid of it now. Because they can already make three blockers, and and then they're eventually just going to crack this and then get another blocker. It's just get rid of this, and then we have to deal with three blockers, and then after that we can uh, attack them normally again. So, strong of everyone will exert, kill the uh, Well of Archwoso, and they probably make a blocker to block, like, maybe just the dragon. They only made one Thopter. Okay, so they. I try to keep it out. Wait, I, I really don't know why they've done that. They must have a, have a Marvel here then. Which they do, okay. And they're just going to spin it straight away. So we can, we're fighting against anything other than Ulamog basically. Doesn't mean we're winning if they don't get an Ulamog, but it means we're, we're okay. Okay, sure. So this costs two, uh, or three to crack, sorry. So they can't actually do anything else this turn. The green belt, sure. Um, so I think we want to well attack first. Yeah, as we say, they might as well block because if not, we can just exert this next turn to kill whatever they have. Um, I'm going to activate this. I should have done this post damage actually. Because if they do kill it and respond, okay, fine. The reason I've done that is because we're going to play the rampages anyway, so we might as well put a counter on here. Should have done it after damage, so we made sure the servo died though. Oh shit, no, because now we can't stick the second Rampager. Alright, well, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Sorry, I thought we had one more uh, energy to do that, but apparently not. Yeah, because we, unfortunately we have to pay an energy to play it, and then it just bounces. Alright, well, we'll pass the turn back. They have to hit something pretty big soon. So if they get Ulamog, they'll just exile these two. We're just going to yield until end of turn. We can't activate this in response. And they're going to spin Marvel. Hopefully they don't hit Ulamog. Again, anything else and we... Yeah, they do hit Ulamog, sure.
and what do we draw? A long task card. Um, we can just play them both out. The problem is they're going to crack this, go up to six energy again, because this will go three. Trigger this, to put them up to it. So they get four, which put them up to six. They can crack that, get some more value. They're drawing a card every time. Yeah, I'm just. I really don't want to have to play this out. We'll play out though. And that was a misplay. Should have played the long toss cup first. Use the energy, and then we could have. If we tap these two, and then we could have played paid three to. Yeah, that was a misplay. And we'll pass the turn. If our opponent just draws blanks for the rest of the game, then maybe we can somehow win. But they have to draw, like, nothing for the rest of the game and, like, whiff on this every single time. So if their hand is, like, three Ulamogs and they spin Marvel and get six land, then maybe we win, but... It's not looking good. This might just be like a really bad matchup for the deck. I know Patrick used, um, Patrick Lickman used Transgress the Mind to try and hit Marvel. Okay, well they only got seven, so that's really good for us. And then it can't actually attack us with the Ulamog yet. See what else our opponent's gonna do. Well, the virtual is so sure. So now one, they only have to have one thing, leave the battlefield, um, and they'll get the Aetherworks trigger again. Putting that up to six energy. Actually, gonna attack us? No. I don't know what we could draw here to win the game. It's gonna pass the turn back. Yeah. Blossoming defense. Well, we can't attack with everything, so we're just gonna ship the turn. So our opponent's drawn a land and magma spray. Well, I guess we're just blossoming defense it. <laughs> magma spray might actually be a lot better than uh, other removal spells in, against their deck because it exiles it so it doesn't trigger this. It's not great, but it gets rid of like servants and rogue refiners without them triggering the Aetherworks to get energy. Still don't want to board it in though, obviously. And I guess we just pass the turn back and hope they draw a land again. I can't think of what card we can have to draw to win this game though, that's the problem. Um, one, two, three, maybe Ronus into a land or something. One, two, three, f yeah, I think like Ronus into a land is like the only way we can win this, but they've drawn puzzle not, so. It's looking pretty bad.
sure. Yeah, let's just go to the next game. Or the next round, should I say. Uh, so, we've currently... Uh, oh, sorry, that was game one. Um, feels like that was <laughs> game two. Alright, so, we don't want the removal. We just want to be uh, as threat-dense as possible. Manglehorn's good at slowing the Marvel down. And two more cards. Quite like two Chandra. Don't like Bristling Hydra though. We'll try to two Serpa Pods and we'll play this. So I took out Bristling Hydra just because I don't think it ever gets in the damage. At least Chandra they have to attack it. And if they're attacking Chandra then we can attack them back. So would you like to play first? Yes. This hand just has one land so we're going to mulligan. Uh, sure, we'll keep this. This hand isn't great, but we can attune, uh, Aether Hub into a tune, get a forest, turn two Vortex Brawler. Our opponent's taking a while to decide. Alright, sweet. We will keep this. Uh, scrap heap doesn't matter what we put on top because we're going to shuffle anyway. Our opponent's got to stop in our upkeep. I think they must be doing something else because they're taking a while. Like, there's nothing they could be doing. Ah, uh, there we go. And obviously we have to get forest here. And we'll just pass the turn back. Because of the Aether Hub and the Vortex Brawler, we probably will have one energy for the Glorybringer on turn 5. Assuming we draw another land. If not, we can always just not use the uh, Vortex Brawler for one, one turn to pump to ensure the Glorybringer has red. But we'll get to that when we we'll get to that bridge when we cross it. I'm probably just playing really slow. I'm just gonna ask, no, okay. I was gonna say I'm gonna ask them to play a little bit faster because this is like pretty unreasonably slow. Um, it's possible that it's better here to wait a turn and keep up blossoming defense because we're so threat light. But I think that we just have to get in there as quickly as possible. Like I don't see them harness lightning this turn too. Well, land a digger, island, sure. It's gonna magma spray it, sure. Well, if they're doing that, they're probably not doing anything else this turn. I'm just going to ask them if they could speed up a little bit. Like, I just think it's... Like, it's fine to... If you're, like, thinking through your plays, but if you have one green up, they, they just don't... Like, they can attune or they can't attune for Aether. That's, like, it. And it's just, uh... It's not really fun for you guys to watch, and, it's, and I really don't want to have to go and edit all of the waiting out. <laughs> Alright, we're doing over forest. We'll play the mountain and pass. I think uh, we may need more on the sideboard to beat this matchup. Just because I don't think that four Manglehorn is enough. I feel like Negate or something to counter the Aetherworks is like our best option, but going into the fourth colour seems really difficult. Alright, 
Um, I guess we just play the elephant. We're going to play the swamp first, just in case. Uh, I guess actually it's probably best. Yeah, we really shouldn't have played the forest there. Sorry, we should have played the forest there. Um, that's fine though. We'll just play the uh, rampager. Because now if we want a blossoming defense, we have to use our energy, that we, what we need for the glory bringer. So we should have definitely played the forest there. That's a huge mistake. Hopefully it won't blow us out. Our opponent doesn't have enough energy for an Aetherworks this turn. Or they can play it, but they can't activate it this turn, which is good for us. See, now thinking about it, I kind of do like the idea of Magma Spray just to get rid of all their cheap creatures so quickly. And, like, try and go really underneath them. Like, cut the curve down really low. That's annoying. Yeah, like, there's nothing they can do here. Like, they can attack us, which is obviously wrong. They can make two Thopters, but they can do that at the end of our turn anyway. So I just don't know what they're... Wait, why would they? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, Manglehorn does nothing, so we're just going to play Glorybringer. I guess we could have played it to keep a marvel tap down but that doesn't achieve anything what we're we doing is slowing the game down not like we're not actually like developing the board so it's not in our favor at all wiggling out exactly this to kill the uh well of our choice so just because they make it just makes so many blockers that get in the way Just let them do whatever. So they can like double block here if they want to, and then, which is fine for us. Because they get. Wait, they're not even going to block the dragon? Sure. So if they have a removal spell for this, it's pretty bad for us. The more I think about it, the more I think this is just a bad matchup. I think I've played. Um, I think I've played this a couple of times in real life, this matchup, but I don't remember it being this bad. Sure, Team of Aether. I've only played basic so far, which is really weird. One, two, three, four, five basics. They can only probably play like seven, if that. They're gonna attack us? Sure. Seems really aggressive. I think we're just gonna mangle horn one and then make it so the Aetherworks comes in tapped. Because I think we just have to get on the board. If we save mangle horn for Aetherworks, well, I guess if they play it and they don't have enough energy, but that just seems really unlikely that they're gonna play it play that over whatever gives them the energy so they can just do the marvel the same turn just doesn't make any sense why they would play the marvel first eventually when we get to go to our draw step I don't even know what they could have I'm pretty sure they are just playing slowly Eighth up, sure. So get energy. Um, and we're just gonna play the mangle horn, blow up a thop to here. So 
So now if they play a uh, Marvel, it comes in tapped, and basically we just like yeah, we just need to develop the board and get rid of trap blockers and things. I think Manglehorn is fine to play there. This is like a spot where release the Gremlins would have been just so much more powerful. At least it it would uh, initially because we would have got two gremlin, uh, Gremlins instead. So we'd have now an extra two power on the board. But at the same time, I guess now if they play Marvel, it would have came in untapped. But they don't have the energy anyway, so. Because four to activate this. But then we can just use Blossoming Defense and eat their land if we wanted to. I don't think that's advantageous for us, but that is an option. But that means they just have absolutely nothing to do. With six cards in hand, that's unlikely. And we know one of them is a land. If you guys are just bored of waiting to watch this person like do nothing every turn, then feel free to just go to the, the uh, round five because, I mean, I'll play this out just for whoever wants to watch this, but at the same time, if I wasn't recording this, I would have just conceded by now. It's just not worth my time to sit here and wait for someone to play one game of a league. Like, they're clearly doing something else at the same time. The fact that we have over 15 minutes and they have 8 minutes is just, yeah. <laughs> Originally when, because I've, I've played against people like this before and I normally used to like try and edit it out but it just takes so much longer to watch the entire game and edit every single time they wait like 2 minutes to do something. that. I just yeah I would normally just like not even upload the video <laughs> or just concede or something because guess we can uh, take a look at our sideboard and see if there's uh, anything else we want to talk about whilst our opponent does nothing uh, let's have a look So what other options do we have in uh, standard to beat Marvel? So we can play Release the Gremlins if we want to. Um, yeah, opponent's just not doing anything. Oh uh, yeah, we can play Release the Gremlins over Manglehorn or as, uh, additionally. Uh, what else could there be? We kind of just want to kill them as quickly as possible. So maybe we play like Lathoon Hellion or something. But Lathoon Hellion is really bad against chump blockers because if they just chump it then you have to pay two energy and then they chump it again and you have to pay two energy so maybe is there anything else which is incredibly fast to kill our opponent um maybe the vehicle that is uh i can't remember what the vehicle is called it's like four mana when it enters the battlefield it's a five three with haste cruise itself when it enters the battlefield and you can just attack that's the one uh, I have a very small collection on Modo because I just rent all my cards. So I don't really have anything we can browse. Like literally everything here is basically in my deck other than these crappy promos that no bot will take. Like Nissa's, Nissa's quite a quick clock when she's on the field making a 5-5 five five, but um, 5 mana is a lot for, it's when you're effectively just getting a 5-5 five five with haste. Like, it's kind of similar to Reality Smasher if you're just using it for the to plus each turn. Um, what else is really aggressive? Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Our opponent is just going to time out at this point, actually. With only five minutes on the clock. And they're not even close to any... My internet went off. Oh, okay, sure.
So it looks like our opponent is back now. It normally tells you when your opponent disconnects. Oh, here it does. Okay, I see, I see, I'm pretty sure I've seen it like come up here before. Or at least when I've disconnected, I think it comes up here, so. And they're gonna play a seven of the conduit, sure. So I believe this is not gonna untap this time. Oh, sorry, I will untap this time because we played the Manglehorn last turn. Yeah, it looks like our opponent is having uh, internet issues. And it's going to pass the turn. Rhinus is actually a really good draw here, so we can play Rhinus and use Rhinus to give our Glory Bringer a uh, trample. So we can trample over for 5, which is really nice. And also the Glorybringer does enable Ronas to be a creature next turn as well. And our opponent has just conceded. Okay, sure. Alright, um, so now we're back on the draw again. Um, I don't think that changes too much. Again, we just want to be as aggressive as possible. I don't know if it's right, but we're going to try bringing in loads of early game removal. And we're going to try and go underneath our opponent. Uh, let's cut a Hazaret. And some Serpa Pods. And... Doo -doo -doo. I think we still want Glory Bringers, right? So we'll cut a Chandra. Yeah, we're going to try this. We're going to go uh, super low to the ground. I think we... No, we don't really want these because we can't trigger a revolt to kill the, uh, their rogue refiners. I don't know if this is correct, but we're basically just going to go super low to the ground, try and go underneath them before they can get Aetherlux Marvel um, and enough energy to do it. Four Magma Sprays to kill like their servants, the conduit, and their rogue refiners. And hopefully they don't draw too many uh, well of their choices. If we're going low to the ground, maybe Hazard is actually really good in this matchup. I'm, r I'm really not sure with the side <laughs> in this matchup. Um, yeah, we'll keep this. So we can go turn one green belt, turn two Voltaic Brawler, turn three Manglehorn, turn four Hazard, which is pretty much like a really nice curve. A tune with Aether, do we want to do that? Yes. We'll get a uh, mountain. So we should be able to build up quite a lot of energy as well. We'll get two from here uh, and two from the Aether hubs. We really didn't want to draw that game trail because we want to be able to play all our cards and unfortunately we just can't play enough lands to get the hazard online as soon as possible, but... Because typically you can, like, if we add like an extra... If this was like a one drop, then by turn four we could probably just cast everything. Or turn, by turn five, sorry. I'm just going to play the Hydra, sure. Magma Spray, sure, so well, we're going to play Aether Hub, we want to keep the mountain in our hand in case we draw another game trail and we'll pump they're not going to block, sure And then we're gonna play Greenbelt. 
And we're going to Magma Spray the Servant here to try and shut them off mana. It could have been correct there to Manglehorn, um, just to try and get our opponent, or sorry, try and get our hand down as quickly as possible because it's the more mana efficient play because we don't have another land tapped. Another blister, uh, Bristling Hydra, sure. Well, we're just going to take that. So they can just pump it, so there's no point. See what we can draw. Hopefully something good. Chandra. It's pretty good. So we'll play Mountain here because we don't want to use energy if we don't have to. We'll attack with the Voltaic Brawler just because it has Trample, so I don't mind trading it for a... Uh... I guess they could block and then double activate, but that seems really weak. We're going to play Chandra here just because it keeps them busy. They've pretty much just got a better clock. Uh, this way we can... Deal two, damage, deal 2 damage to our opponent and they're probably going to have to kill it. They can attack us for 4, 8, 9, 10, 11 next turn. So it's just not going to be enough. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, play the Aether Hub. If we can somehow, if we draw another card that we can play, then we can potentially attack with Hazard next turn. I guess we can plus Chandra making 2, any, uh, two mana. So they're probably going to attack one Hydra at Chandra, one at us, and then pump this, uh, pump this Hydra. So one shot Chandra. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah, we're just going to play Hazard here. And I think we have to keep this back to block. Well, we can attack for four, put them to six. Next turn, deal two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we can play this, go up to six, hit them for four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Yeah, I think we have to attack here. I think we want to put them to this uh, because now we only need to throw three cards at them. So between these two as blockers, we should be able to try and survive for that long. We might not be able to, but I think that's our best bet. They can just produce like a load of energy this turn, then they can just kill us though. Well, a virtue, so sure. Yeah, I shouldn't have attacked there. Um. We'll get a swamp. Doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five. Oh shit, we shouldn't have done that. I think we want to play the Manglehorn, right? And just block. Um, green, red, black. Okay. So 
So we, if we attack with, no, we have to keep all of them back. Because otherwise they can just make a Thopter attack with everything. We can only block two, block these two, and take three. Pretty good. And another one? Wow, okay, sure. Don't know how we're going to get through that much life. Because gaining. They've gained six, which is a, basically three, three draw steps of Hazard. Ronas would be a really nice draw. I think they just want to attack with the Thopter here. I guess there's no need to. Yeah, that's just game. Alright, well, we're going to attack with everything. We'll see if they fuck up. Oh, no. We, ha we should have thrown something pre-combat. Alright, that's just game. Uh, to be honest, I'm just glad that that round is over. That was just a really slow round. And uh, yeah, so we've managed to go from 2-0 to 2-2 unfortunately, and both decks have just been to the team at energy decks. Um, so maybe that's just a really bad matchup, I'm not really sure, I might be playing it incorrectly. Uh, if you think I'm doing anything like consistently wrong, um, feel free to put in the comments like if I'm not playing, like if there's a specific style you're supposed to play, if you're like supposed to go grindy or you're supposed to go faster or whatever, feel free to leave in the comments. Uh, I'll see you in the last round, peace.